morning, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video review on the LED Lenser Neo 4 Head Tour, which I have already taken out of the box because it's a bit of a faff to get it out. Um, basically, this is a running head torch. On the back is a battery pack, and on the front is your actual torch. The battery pack's got this rubberized kind of cover on it, so to get the batteries in and out, this, this totally comes off like that. It appears that it, it's sealed, you know, once the rubber goes on, and on the um, instructions card over there it says it's water resistant to IP57. So potentially, this is going to be all right in the rain. Um, it goes on your head, obviously. One thing I've noticed straight away is you've got obviously battery pack light and it evenly distributes the weight across your head. Um, I've got other models head torch here, so I've got a Petzl torch, batteries and torch all in the front. I've got a uni light, same sort of design. It's even weight distribution, but then what you do have is, is down the edge you've got the power lead running from the battery pack to the uh, head torch, so that might I mean, this bit's dangling, look, you know, this might be annoying. I don't know, I haven't run in it yet, but it's just something that I'm immediately thinking about. So when I get it on my head, the button's on the side here. Uh, so you've got mode one. Flashing. Bright. Not so bright. Flashing. Press and hold for off. Can I press this with one finger? Yeah, so when I'm running, that's going to be easily easy to do. So if we compare, so straight away, I think the Petzl one. This is the first one ever bought. It's a pretty basic model. This is brighter than that. The Unilight one. I can't really say there's much in it from looking at the, the screen. The LED lens gave me this torch for free at the running awards, it was in the goodie bag. So I'm not paid to review this or say anything in particular about it, I'm just going to be honest about it. Green, blue and pink, it weighs 100 grams with the batteries and it takes three AAA batteries. From what I can tell there's no um, option to USB recharge this one. The Unilight for example, USB rechargeable or you can use disposable batteries. The light output in energy mode 240 over 20 and the constant current is 150 over 20. It's battery operated, easy and powerful, running at night in the dark requires effort. LED lens and Neo 4 gives you everything you need to get out and do it. Powerful light, super wide beam format, especially configured for runners. The ability to direct the light where required and two power modes for maximum flexibility. In energy mode, the runtime is maximized whilst in constant current mode, the lumen output is maximized. It doesn't tell me how long a battery is gonna last, so I've got no idea what this will be suitable for because it might be that it's gonna cut out on you. I don't know what the battery life is, there's just no information about it. The LED lens, uh, it says, please find in the goodie bag one of our newest headlamps, the Neo 4. Our full product range is available at ledlenser.com. If you would like a 10% discount in your final basket, use the code DIS10. So if you're gonna buy one of these, there you go, there's a 10% off code. Um, I've gotta be honest, this isn't the best head torch I think I've seen ever. In positives, like I said, the weight is evenly distributed because you've got the battery and the torch separate. I'm not too keen on this wire running down the side, if I'm honest. I'm not convinced about the waterproofness of it. With the, the rubber thing that just pops off, it doesn't look like that's on there very well, I don't, I don't know, and the wires are exposed, and I'd be concerned about using this in the rain, maybe. So this one is a complete, completely contained plastic unit clips together and that's sealed and solid. And I'm confident in the waterproofing on that one. This one with the rubber thing coming off, you know, uh, I'm not I'm not totally convinced by this rubber. I mean, I can just pull that back with my finger, look, you know. Yeah. All in all, I would say this will probably do the job. If it's a dry day, I'd, I'd trust it. If it's a wet day, I don't think I would. And it's probably okay for like a beginner head torch, for your first head torch, if you're gonna use it just on dark, dry nights. Um, I don't know what the battery life is, so I don't know what sort of event you're gonna use this for, if you're gonna do some sort of 24 hour race. The battery life could become irrelevant if you carry in additional batteries to change, but do you wanna carry loads of batteries? I don't know, that'd be up to you. I'm not gonna give this like a 10 out of 10, I'm probably gonna give this maybe a six out of 10. And room for improvement, I would say on this, and let's hope that, you know, LED Lenser can bring out future models that deal with some of, some of all this. 
here. One thing I should add is this Unilight torch, I think is one of the more of the top end models that Unilight make. Whereas the Neo 4 here, I don't think is the top end model. Just looking at the, the new Neo series, you've got the Neo 6R, the Neo 4, which is the one I've just looked at. And you've got the Neo 10R as well. But I've still, you can see on the Neo 10R, you've got the same lead issue, you've got the same thing. So this one might be a bit more comparable, I don't know. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more running related content. I've put a link below in this video about where you can buy the LED lens in Neo 4. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.